This project here, um, we're uh, basically the preheat part of it, heating up the pipe so that the the welders. It's got to be at 200 degrees, which takes. I fired it up this morning within 15 to 20 minutes, and you got to remember your your heat coils are on the bottom of that piece of material, and you you want the temp up on the top. So we wrap it in blankets so that the heat can soak through. But within 20 minutes, easy, I had the top of that pipe up to the 200 degrees. We're on a pretty slow ramp just because of the thickness of the pipe and the size. We're heating it just from the bottom to. Of course, we're trying to keep it from warping at all. But we've decided to, once we start welding on these, the heat won't come off them until we're finished welding. If it, if the guys get started at three o'clock this afternoon and we quit at 5.30 and they've made two welds and there's 15 more to do, the machine will stay on 200 degrees all night. And they'll start back up again at 7 a.m. The way the holes are cut in the top of the header, we have great fears that it's going to try to fold into itself because of the loss of material. Until we get that material back in there and uh, reestablished, we fear that it, it's going to warp. And we think keeping the heat on, as well as pressure, we can keep it from doing that. This, this job entails 32 headers that we'll do in probably 10 weeks or less. I would say that would it would add somewhere between two and three days to the process just because of the time it takes to heat up and I don't know that we would be able to build a jig like we've done for with the induction heating with resistance heating and be able to change the headers out at will it's so much quicker it's it's unbelievable hey, you're, you're talking from hours to minutes uh, of course that in turn cuts your electrical costs so you know you're knocking the bottom line right out from under it to begin with because it takes a long time to heat up a thick piece of pipe with a propane torch you wouldn't have an even heat all the way through it you'd have a guy stand there with a torch He'd heat up right around the area that it was to be welded at. He maybe five or ten minutes, fifteen minutes. He'd get it up to heat, and the welder'd start welding. Uh, with this application, the whole piece is going to be up to temperature. You've, you've driven out all the moisture, and you're going to have a better, better weld.